Hey guys, Flo from Earth to Lands here and today we, with this video I wanted to first thank you for 20k. I just can't believe that there's 20,000 people following my work. Uh, so thank you so much, it is extremely appreciated. And if you don't know who I am, I'm a French Australian filmmaker based in French Alps. I do mostly documentary and short commercial work. And on YouTube I do anything filmmaking related, so it could be cinematography breakdowns, could be tips. Um, it could be gear reviews, cameras, lenses, or filmmaking accessories. And I also post um, some travel videos because I move a lot being an outdoor photographer and filmmaker. So over the past week or so, I've been thinking a lot about this channel. And what I wanted to do today with this video is to give you some tips um, and share what I've learned being on YouTube for two years now and posting almost um, every week. Um, so it's mostly tips and insights for you um, if you're about to create your channel, if you're thinking of doing it, if you've done it and you're not really sure what to expect. So this is what this video is about. I will also touch on the future of this channel and I've had a few ideas what to do for 2021. So I'm, I'm keen to share them with you and hear your thoughts as well. And as always, before I start, don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into it. So first I want to share what I've learned. So the first thing that I've learned is that YouTube is rewarding. Out of all the social platforms that I've used, YouTube is definitely the most rewarding. Um, I've been on Instagram, for example, for eight years, posting three times a week, and I'm still on 50,000, and I've been on it for like maybe five years, and I'm not going anywhere. Um, so YouTube is really great for that. YouTube pushed me to create more, to shoot more, having to post weekly. So that's mostly a good thing. There's also a sense of community, which is very important for me. I love engaging with you guys. I love commenting, I love responding to comments, and I love sharing anything that I can. The second thing that I've learned is that YouTube is harder than I thought. It is time consuming. To give you an idea, to create one of my videos, it takes anywhere from 15 to 40 hours a week. And when you add that on top to regular work and life, it can be quite exhausting. The next thing is also that it's hard to stop because YouTube is addictive. Uh, it's addictive as a viewer, it's even more as a creator. And when you have an audience that keeps growing, it becomes really hard to, to stop and to switch off. Coming from a more traditional filmmaking uh, career, I find it really hard sometimes to get the right balance between YouTube and, and everyday life. The third thing that I've learned is that you don't make enough money, especially at the start. So if you want to make money fast, YouTube isn't probably um, a good idea. Um, you need to have a lot of views and quite a big audience to make anything um, at all. And even for me, that I've had videos that passed 100,000 or 200,000 views. It's still not enough to have an actual income. What YouTube brings though is collaborations and opportunities with brands and other people and that will turn into income at some point and that's when you can actually start to sustain yourself from it. But YouTube by itself, um, it's a very hard way to, to make a living. The fourth thing that I've learned is that it's harder to grow if you don't only do one thing. As you probably know, it's easier to grow on YouTube if you only focus on one thing. That could be gear reviews, that could be tutorials. Um, and for me, I consider filmmaking to be my thing, so I want to do everything that's related to, to filmmaking. Not only do reviews, but also break, cinematography breakdowns and that kind of stuff. And it's a lot harder to, to grow as um, a channel if you do a few things, uh, because you grab people from different, like, they have different interests, and it's a lot harder overall, but I feel like it's a more organic way to grow, if that makes sense. So that was what I've learned, but I also wanna share some tips with you. So tip number one, do your thing. It's really hard not to be influenced by other creators, but I would say do what you like to do because you're gonna be in, ending up like having to create content weekly or twice a month. Make sure that you love what you do. It's very important because you're gonna put so much time and energy into it too. So make sure that you enjoy what you create. I like documentary work, for example, and I want to share more of that and not only do reviews, but I also don't see myself vlogging every day, for example, that's not my thing. Which leads me to my second tip, which is be yourself. Be you, don't try to be anyone else, especially not your favorite YouTuber, because you're not. Um, for example, I'm not your super 
uh, excited, um, overexcited, enthusiastic YouTuber. That's just because it's it's not me and I don't pretend to be. It's true that most famous YouTubers have a personality, um, but that also comes at a price because you have to maintain that all the time. And I feel like after like a few years, I don't even know if it's genuine anymore, you know, that like you have to keep that, that face and that branding. And that's important to grow, yes, but I feel like if that's not you, don't try too hard to be someone else because in the end you'll either give up or you'll end up being something that, that you're not and you have to keep being that person all the time. Next tip is share what you know. So this is really important because if you intend to make a YouTube channel, it means that you have something to, to share most likely. So make sure that you actually know your subject and that you know what you're talking about because that will be the best way for you to, to grow, to give actual valuable information. Um, stick to what you know and the content will be organic and genuine. For example, I talk a lot about documentaries and short commercial work because that's what I do um, for a living. So I've got that experience and I want to share my experience with, with you guys. And the reviews that I do are actually products that I use or products that I'm very, very interested in because I need them. And even though like reviewing a few different brands and different cameras at the same time might bring you more audience and more views, I feel like the content can't be as organic because there's no way that you can have enough experience with all of them at the same time um, to be able to have an, an actual valuable um, piece of content out of that. And I don't really understand, for example, when I see some YouTubers reviewing like three different cameras in two days and telling people what they've learned and their reviews and how they've used it because it's not really genuine, like unless you've actually used a camera on a project, it's not possible to, to know about a camera or a few lenses in one day from different brands doing the same thing at the same time. Next tip is ask yourself what you have to offer to your audience. That's a question that I ask myself the most. What would someone spend their time watching my content? And I think that's something that you have to say, ask yourself as well because it's really important. You're gonna expect people to stop what they're doing and spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes, five minutes of their time. So it's important to create content that is valuable without wasting someone else's time. And this is not a rant or anything, but for example, when I'm looking for something on YouTube uh, and information about a product, it could be a, a camera, it could be a lens, and the video is 10 minutes and the first nine minutes are about that person's day or breakfast or when they met their friends or anything like that. And the last minute is actually about what I was after. And I just, I just hate that. And that's what I want to try to do with my channel. That's what I'm trying to do. When I do give reviews, I want to do things that are straight to the points and that give you guys the most information, the best information um, in the least amount of time possible. Next tip is try to upload regularly. Find out what you're capable in terms of upload frequency and stick to that. So that could be weekly, that could be twice a month, monthly, but make sure that you can actually stick to that uh, for the whole year because I think it's a lot easier to, to grow an audience or for your audience as well to follow along if you're uploading at a consistent um, pace. I do my best to upload weekly. Obviously, sometimes I have bigger projects and I need to go away for a few days and it's just not viable but that's because I happen to also have a filmmaking career outside of this YouTube channel. If YouTube is what you want to do full time, then that's a bit different and you can even try to post like weekly or twice a week and you can stick to that because that is your um, main goal as a career. Be nice. Obviously this should come naturally, but it's also important to remember to to be nice that you are dealing with people for example i always try to respond to comments and in some videos i have about two or three hundred so sometimes it's really hard and it's extremely time consuming but i feel like it's very very important to show your audience that you are um, invested and real that you're an actual person not just someone putting videos out there to gain something but you're also there to to answer questions about a specific video and to push things a little further to to go a bit deeper in that relationship that you're trying to build with your audience. So try to do a mix of trendy content and personal content. Of course, YouTube being YouTube, you want to be aware of the latest trends, um, the latest cameras, the latest lenses, the latest accessories. Um, but you also need to find a balance between the content that you need to create and the content that you want and love to create. 
and obviously this isn't always easy and you need to get the new content to get traction and things like that but you also need to create content that that you love because it'll show through um, your video if you're actually in, interested in what you're talking about so make sure that you do videos that you know will do better than others but also do videos that ultimately regardless of reach and uh, how many followers and how many views you're going to get that you actually want to create because that's very important for you as a creator but also for the audience um, and sometimes it's better to get a video that has two or three thousand views with people that are really focused rather than have a video that goes a bit viral and has half a million views but the followers that you will get from that video won't actually care about the rest of your content. So as an example, to be transparent with you guys, I get asked to do reviews all the time, pretty much every day. Um, heaps of brands reaching out um, from different places, doing different like accessories or cameras and lenses, and I say no most of the time because it's not genuine and I feel like I would be dishonest um, doing something like that because I wanna use the product and I wanna make sure that the product fits my kit and I'm actually generally using um, this filmmaking accessory or this lens or this camera um, organically and not just doing it for the purpose of the review because I have um, been asked for example to review monitors and mics and I'm happy with the kit that I have in some parts yes some of it I would like to upgrade or to get something newer or better but for the most part I don't need to get anything else like my kit works for me so make sure that when you do get approached at the start, when you start having like some sort of um, um, reach, that you also remember that even though, if, for example, it's exciting to get a free product, it's also important to know that you can actually make something that's genuine, uh, something that's organic to your audience because you want to make sure that the content you put out is justified and you're not just after the latest trend. So the last tip is learn to care less. Not every video that you produce can be perfect or exactly how you want it to be. And that's something that I struggle a lot on YouTube because I've been making videos for clients for years now and I have to make the best video possible within the time frame and the budget allocated for it. And with YouTube, you kind of learn to learn to, to let go and you can't be a perfectionist for every single work that you put out, especially if you upload on a weekly basis. And now I want to touch a bit on the future of this channel and how it can grow. So for me to be able to continue growing this channel and the audience, and I've been having a few ideas and I just wanted to share them with you guys and hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, so the first thing is, would you be interested if I was to create a Patreon page? Um, and if so, what would you like to see on there? What would you like to gain from it? I was also thinking of doing a short documentary course online. So let's say like a two or three hour course um, breaking down in a few episodes and do that with a friend of mine that's actually um, a filmmaker as well in Canada doing the same work that I do but doing a lot of commercials as well so I think it could be very interesting but let me know that's something that you would like um, to do and that's something that you would be ready to to pay for and of course feel free to to give me any ideas in the comments below um, I really want to push the channel this year I really want to make the more videos the best videos that I can I want to give you as much value as I can per video and if that also um, applies to, to something that could be outside of YouTube, like I've been talking about the Patreon page or doing the documentary course, I would really like to, to see um, how we could create a bigger community. That's it for me today, guys. And I wanted to thank you again so much for the support. Um, 20,000 is amazing. I just, I just still can't believe it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.